going live for round two. Um, yeah, two minutes on Tuesday. It's starting. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is a live video, so anything can happen. I'm hoping the audio issue I experienced on the first round went well. But this is two minutes on Tuesday, and I am excited to bring this back where uh, hopefully on as many Tuesdays as I can get it in. Uh, I'm going to share with you for about two minutes on different themes relating to disability, dignity, and hope, whether it's something I'm reading, something in current events, or uh, um, uh, just perhaps a question or uh, a theme you might bring up. Uh, if you just drop it in the comments below, let me know and watch next week for uh, two minutes on Tuesday. And maybe I'll riff on uh, some of your uh, questions or thoughts. Okay, today to kick us off, I am sharing with you from Amy Kenny's book, My Body is Not a Prayer Request, her top 10 list of I know how you feel. Let's uh let's start with number 10. My friend, cousin, co-worker, barista is disabled. So I know how you feel. Number nine. I burned myself out partying all weekend. So I know how you feel. Number eight. I sprained my ankle back in third grade, so I know how you feel. Number seven, I get exhausted when I walk all day too. Number six, one time I had an ingrown toenail removed, so I know how you feel about doctors. Number five, I had to go to physical therapy for six whole weeks after I busted my knee. So I know how you feel. Number four, I was wheeled out after giving birth. So I know how hard wheelchairs can be to use. Number three, aren't we all just a little bit disabled? Number two, we all have something that's just your cross to bear. My boss is mean. Number one, <laughs> I think I have a little bit of what you have. Don't you love that last one? I had a, I had a serious laugh when I read that. I have a little bit of what you have. Uh, you know, over the years, being in a wheelchair for 30, 30 years, wow. I, I've heard all of these. And, uh, you know, they always seem to always you know, how do you respond? Yeah, uh, I know what you're trying to say. But really, do we know how someone feels simply by saying how we feel? No, that's not the point. Uh, what we need to do is recognize that if we want to know how someone feels, we ask them, how is it that you feel? Get to know the person. Uh, we don't find connection of knowing how they feel by telling them how we feel in situations and such. We get to know by asking them, getting to know them. And that's the way we can approach people in wheelchairs, people with disabilities. Um, reach out to them and ask them how they feel first before assuming that you feel the same. Um, you know, I remember one particular story one time. Uh, Bonnie was in hospital and and her neighbor was an elderly lady and her visitor came to me and said, you know, trying to make this story short. Um, my friend here broke both her wrists. You, you, it's just your legs. So, so her, it's, it's, you know, greater and worse because it's her wrist. She can't do anything with, uh, with her arms. And I was dumbfounded. I didn't know what to say. So think about these moments. The next time you see someone who has a visible disability, 
don't just say, I know how it feels. Ask them, how do they feel? Where are they at? Each of us have a different relationship with uh, how we are connecting with disability. And we can't tell others how they feel. So um, that's, that's my quick response for two minutes on Tuesday this week. Uh, Amy Kenny's book, My Body is Not a Prayer Request, Top, I Know How You Feels. Uh, drop me a comment, question. Uh, let me know what you think. Tell me uh, what I should, what else I should talk on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, I will hopefully see you next Tuesday on Two Minutes on Tuesday.